Hearings in the Infected Blood Inquiry are resuming today. Evidence will focus on Trelaw's school, attended by many haemophiliacs infected in the scandal. At least 72 children at the school in the 1970s and 1980s have now died after they were given drugs infected with HIV and hepatitis. Well, our health correspondent Ashish Joshi joins me now from uh, the inquiry. And Ashish, some very difficult testimonies uh, being heard today. There will be some very difficult testimony. It will be harrowing and it will be highly emotional. It hasn't begun yet. We're expecting the, the first of those witnesses to give evidence after lunch this morning. We were given some background to Trelaws College, a, a specialist school in Hampshire where children with disabilities and children with haemophilia were sent for treatment. So it was a school with a clinic and an NHS transfusion centre on site. It is one of the darkest chapters in what is regarded as one of the blackest periods of NHS treatment history. This is a scandal which has touched tens of thousands of lives. Very few survivors left now to give us their personal testimony of how this contaminated blood made with a contaminated blood product has affected all of their lives, infected with HIV and hepatitis C. I spoke to one of the survivors from Trelaws College this morning, uh, Adrian Goodyear, who told me as a 15-year-old child he was taken into a room with four other pupils from the school, an emotional doctor with tears in his eyes, went round the room and said, you have it, you don't you have it, and went through these children without their parents present to tell them that they'd been infected with HIV. He's the only survivor from that room. And today, later this afternoon, we'll be hearing from another former pupil, Gary Webster. We caught up with Gary this morning before he went inside to give his evidence. This is what he told Sky News. It's awful, isn't it? Because, you know, we're talking nearly 40 years now, and 72 people from our school alone have died. Um, school friends and everything like that. So, yeah, I feel pretty bad about it, really. But it's just something we've got to do for the people we've lost with. So, week-long testimony from survivors of Trelaws College, former pupils, and also teachers who will be explaining to the panel what happened in those... Uh, weeks and months during the 70s and 80s when these children were infected. The school isn't responsible. Nobody holds the school responsible for what happened, but the children were there in attendance when they were treated with these contaminated blood products. Oh, thank you very much. Ashish Joshi there in Central London.